the highly anticipated WSX Australian GP is finally here, bringing with it one of the most pivotal weekends in the 2024 FIM World Supercross Championship season. Set to take place at the iconic Marvel Stadium in Melbourne, this event is monumental for several reasons. Not only does it serve as the final race weekend before the championship showdown in Abu Dhabi, but it also marks WSX's first ever doubleheader round. With twice as many races, there will be double the action and, most importantly, double the points available, making this a make-or-break moment in both the WSX 450 cubic centimeters and SX2 250 cubic centimeters world championship battles. The stakes couldn't be higher as riders gear up for a weekend of intense competition at HBF Park in Perth. Following the thrilling season opener at the WSX Canadian GP in Vancouver, the championship narratives are already heating up, and this Australian doubleheader promises to be a decisive chapter. With so much on the line, here's a closer look at the key storylines heading into rounds two and three of this thrilling series. The Rock Zen vs. Tomac Showdown The rivalry between Ken Rock Zen and Eli Tomac was the most talked about storyline heading into the 2024 season, and the WSX Canadian GP only added fuel to the fire. Tomac dominated the Vancouver round with an exceptional performance, going 2-1-1-1 across the evening to secure a commanding lead in the rider's standings with 100 points. Roxen, the two-time reigning WSX champion, was the closest competitor, but even his impressive GP race won when wasn't enough to match Tomac's consistency. A rare mistake in GP race 2 only widened the gap, leaving Roxen looking like the second-best rider of the night. Now, heading into the WSX Australian GP, Roxen faces a 16-point deficit to Tomac. With 210 points up for grabs over the weekend, this is a critical moment for the German rider to regain momentum in his pursuit of a third consecutive world championship title. While it may seem dramatic to suggest Roxen's title chances are already under threat after just one round, the doubleheader format amplifies the stakes. This weekend accounts for 50% of the season's total available points, making Perth a pivotal battleground. If Roxen wants to close the gap, he needs to deliver a near-flawless performance. And if he does, Tomac must respond in kind to maintain his advantage. The margin for error is razor-thin, and the intensity between these two titans is set to reach new heights. Joey Savage, Closing the Gap Joey Savage was one of the standout performers in Vancouver claiming a podium finish and solidifying himself as the third best rider of the night. Competing for Firepower Honda, the Thomasville, Georgia native showed glimpses of brilliance, particularly in the superfinal, where he faced a brief challenge from Colt Nichols but ultimately secured his place on the podium. However, Savage was quick to acknowledge the circumstances, including his limited preparation time after joining Firepower Honda late in the preseason and transitioning back to 450 cubic centimeters machinery after a hiatus from Supercross. Despite these challenges, Savage's third-place finish was nothing short of remarkable. Now, with additional time to prepare and adapt, the 30-year-old has an opportunity to close the gap to the frontrunners in Perth. The extra preparation time isn't just an advantage for Savage. It benefits every rider on the grid, setting the stage for even fiercer competition. Whether Savage can bridge the gap to Tomac and Roxen or find himself in a tighter battle with riders like Nichols remains to be seen, but his progress will be a key storyline to watch. Dean Wilson, a weekend to rebound. Dean Wilson's performance in Vancouver was one of the biggest surprises of the season opener, for all the wrong reasons. The Glasgow born, Canada raised rider struggled throughout the weekend battling at the back of the pack in GP races 1 and 2 before salvaging a 5th place finish in GP race 3. His overall 12th place result was his worst WSX outing since 2022, raising questions about what went wrong for the usually competitive rider. As a key member of Firepower Honda, the defending World Supercross team's champion, Wilson has a lot to prove in Perth. After finishing 3rd in the WSX standings last season, and coming just nine points shy of a vice championship, expectations were high for Wilson in 2024. The Australian GP is his chance to reset and show why he's regarded as one of the top riders in the series. If Wilson can return to form and deliver a strong performance in Perth, 
it could reignite his championship campaign and provide firepower Honda with a much-needed boost. The WSX Australian GP isn't just another race weekend. It's a high-stakes event that will shape the trajectory of the entire 2024 season. With double points on the line, every decision, every lap, and every race will carry immense weight. For Tomac, it's a chance to solidify his lead and take one step closer to a championship title. For Roxen, it's an opportunity to mount a comeback and remind everyone why he's a two-time champion. For riders like Savagey and Wilson, it's a critical moment to prove they belong in the conversation and can challenge the best in the world. As the riders line up at HBF Park, fans can expect a weekend filled with thrilling battles, unexpected twists, and unforgettable moments. Whether it's the continuation of the Tomac Roxen rivalry, the rise of Savagey, or the redemption of Wilson, one thing is certain. The WSX Australian GP will be a defining chapter in the 2024 FIM World Supercross Championship.